Hello and welcome. Before you watch the video, try this problem on your own. In this problem, they want us to graph uh, on the set of axes below, the x and y axes, the graph of the equation, and I'll write it out, y equals um, negative 3 fourths x plus 3. So this is a basic linear equation, and you're given it in mx plus b format. That means y is equal to y is isolated m times x plus b. And what's really nice is that when you have this format written out, you could read it just like you read anything else for the exact guidelines. It's like a blueprint of the function. B matches 3. And M, in this case, matches negative 3 fourths. And M is your slope and B is your y-intercept. Now the y-intercept is the point on the y-axis. So it's the point in this case, if it says 3, the point 0, 3. Y-intercepts always start with 0 because they're on the y-axis. So that number 3 represents the height of the point. Now slope reads, in general, you could say that slope, it's a different color, is delta y over delta x. Delta means change. So the change in y, or the rise, how much the function goes up or down, and delta x, the change in the run, left and right. And the slope is the ratio of those two numbers. So in our case, that just means, since our slope is negative 3 over 4, you could also say the slope equals 3 over negative 4. Those will both get you the same results. We'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, negative 3 means your rise is decreasing by 3, and your run is going up by 4. And if you read it this way, your rise is going up by 3, and your run is going down by 4, and they both get you the same line. Let's look at that. So here if we go, let's say, up, uh, down 3, our rise is down 3, 1, 2, 3, so that you count down three and then up four, one, two, three, four. You can see this point right here, and do it again, down three over four. Right? One, two, three, four. And you might want to label these points. This is four, zero. And this, of course, we're going over four, so it's eight and down three, negative three. Um, if you connect these points, right, you get our line right here. And that's it. Uh, put a little arrow on the end to indicate that you know it's going on forever, and then maybe write the equation on it just like this. I want to say just like this, somewhere on the line. Now, how can we use the other slope to get the same value? Well, this is saying 3 is positive, so we start back at this point. We go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and then back 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, this point right here. Up 3 and back 4, this point here. You can see that's just reading the slope in the other direction. Either way, we get a negative slope, which says that as you increase one variable, let's say you increase the height, you decrease the run. Or if you decrease the height, you increase the run. Either way, you look at it. All right, hope this helped. They also want to know, um, let me see if I can pull this up, if the point 3, 2 is a solution to your equation. Now that means literally is the point 3, 2 on the line. So let's look at that is the point 3, 2 on our line. That's one way to look at it, and then we'll use the equation as well. All right, so the point 3, 2, where is that point? So 1, 2, 3, and then up 2. Boom, it's right here. So 3, 2 is not on the line, so it's not a solution. You can also use the equation to show it's not on the line, in case they want you to explain your work that way. Our equation says that y is always equal to negative 3 fourths of x plus 3. So if we plug in x being 3, negative 3 fourths, times 3, x plus 3, right, do we get an output of 2? Because this point has an input of 3 and an output of 2. We know that we're not going to. You can see that the um, 1, 2, 3, the input of 3 gives you an output of a little bit less than 1. Let's see what it looks like exactly. y equals negative 9 fourths, right, I multiplied 3 by negative 3 fourths, plus 3, which is really going to give 12 fourths. And that equals what? That equals 3 fourths, right, 12 Take away 9, because negative 9 is 3 over 4, so 3 fourths. So that means that really the point that's here when your input is 3 um, is the point 3, input of 3, gave us an output of 3 fourths, not an output of 2. So it doesn't work for the equation. It doesn't actually balance it. You can always check points that way. If your input for your point doesn't give you the output uh, that you're looking for, then it's not on that line. So if you plug in 3 and we're looking for an output of 2, but we're getting something else, this point is not on the line. Alright, hope this helped.